When I got this Mandalorian coaster set and a new pair of Apple AirPods delivered to my doorstep in less than 24 hours and at a slight discount, I wondered, who could be against this? Well, there is someone. The Biden administration's most activist regulator might soon be out of a job. Unless, of course, a future President Kamala Harris decides to give Federal Trade Commission Chair Lena Khan another term. And I promise you, I will be pragmatic in my approach. Harris vowed to be pragmatic and not be constrained by ideology. And part of being pragmatic means taking good ideas from wherever they come. So if she means what she says, Kamala Harris will have to show Lena Khan the door. Khan's appointment at just 32 years old was groundbreaking. She represented a new generation of progressive Democrats, eager to take on big tech and re-envision antitrust. And this is exactly what she did, in a way that a bull navigates a china shop, or as John Mulaney might say, It's like there's a horse loose in a hospital. Since her appointment, Khan has gone after business giants like Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Google, even corporate mergers for handbag companies, hotels, and grocery stores have become her ideological targets. But it's not all wins for Lena Khan, far from it. Her most bizarre and deserved defeat came when the FTC failed in court to block Microsoft's merger with the video game giant Activision Blizzard behind Call of Duty. Why? Because Lena Khan's FTC did away with the consumer protection standard and instead now fights all forms of corporate consolidation in a way that the district court judge in the case said was really just the service of Sony Entertainment and the PlayStation. In her own words, even legal corporate action is fair game for Khan's FTC. As long as they're dragged into court, we're doing our job, Khan told 60 Minutes. But businesses say it's just not worth the fight anymore. Let me translate that for you. The chair of the FTC is saying that the federal government is applying an unofficial tax on corporate mergers and acquisitions. They're making it more expensive for firms to grow and consolidate and less attractive in the end for making goods and services less expensive for consumers. Improved logistics and pricing is a big reason why companies merge in the first place. But here's where it matters for Kamala Harris. Harris promised to focus on middle-class issues such as inflation, jobs, and prices at the grocery store. She's not out there campaigning in the suburbs against one-day prime deliveries and prime day discounts on televisions and Star Wars coasters. But Lena Khan? That's exactly what she's doing in her personal crusade against Amazon using the power of the FTC. If Donald Trump wins, Khan will certainly be gone. But even under a Harris presidency, Khan would face a tough battle for reconfirmation in the Senate. High-profile defeats, scathing profiles in the media, and staff resignations have all raised serious questions about Lena Khan's leadership and her disregard for the rule of law, as one former colleague put it in the pages of the Wall Street Journal. Morale at the FTC has plummeted. Staff confidence and senior leadership dropped from 87% to just 49% in only a few years, according to internal surveys by the government. Yet, despite all of this internal chaos, Khan has remained a cable news darling and treated as a hero by the likes of Jon Stewart and Leslie Stahl of 60 Minutes. Kamala Harris says she'll be pragmatic and willing to change course when policies don't work. Lena Khan was hired to test the boundaries of antitrust law, but it's clear that her experimentation has failed. If Kamala Harris wants to lead with common sense and pragmatism, she's going to have to restore the FTC to being a consumer-focused agency. And that means bringing an end to Lena Khan's tenure as chair of the FTC. I'm Stephen Kent, and you've been watching The Consumer Manifesto.